I'm Russell Warden, swimming coach at the National Sports Council. I've been coaching at the National Sports Council for approximately 23 years. I started swimming at the tender age of age four under the guidance of the late Dr. Maurice Proker at the Marine House. I went on to represent Barbados from age 11 up until age 32 at local, regional and international swimming competitions. As a young swimmer, I swam for the Alpha Swim Club and in my latter years, swam for the Silver Fin Swim Club of Barbados. I represented Barbados at Grifter Games, CASC Games, which is the Caribbean Island Swim Championship, and also back in the day, Texaco Games. I started coaching back in the day with the Alpha Swim Club, along with the Silver Fins and also Stingray Swim Club. Back in those days, coaches used to float between clubs. So you would coach one club here, on a, for example, on a Monday and a Wednesday, another club on Tuesday and Thursday, another one on Saturday mornings and also probably on Sundays. I went to the National Sports Council under the guidance of Mr. Arby Corbin in 1996-97 as a coach. I've been assistant coach at the Goodwill Games and also the CASC Games from 2009 up to 2012 and also 2017, 18 and 19. I've been head coach of the Goodwill Swim Team in Guyana 2012. Swimming is a skill. So seeing people come from not being able to do anything in the water up until swimming through the water, it, 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 it does things for me. Um, you get a swimmer and they can't float, they can't put the face in and they end up swimming and being able to be more comfortable in the water, whether it's a pool or the sea. And even for those who go on to represent Barbados um, is what makes me feel good as a coach. One of my major accomplishments as a coach is watching one of my charges who I taught to swim when the age of three, go on to represent Barbados at the Gala Games 2015 in St. Lucia. And then seeing him on the podium uh, and a national anthem in the background brought tears to my eyes. I advise the young aspiring swimmers per se, um, stay disciplined, stay focused on whatever you get involved in, whatever you have to do, do it to your full potential. For coaches, knowledge can also can always be gained. So never give up, never think you have all the knowledge that you need, never think you have all the experience you need, whatever avenue, whatever venture you get into, where coaching is concerned, try your best to gain as much knowledge and experience as possible each and every day if you have to. If I had the power to change one thing in my sport of swimming, I would have changed the mindset and the way of thinking of basic society where sports or even swimming is concerned. And not see sport as just a sport or swimming as not just swimming, but see it as an avenue, see it as a, a career to get out there. Even if you stop swimming physically, you go into like sports medicine, sports physiology, sports psychology, or even sport management. See it as a career, see it as something bigger, not just a sport as we see it here, in my opinion, in Barbados.